Hello you guys, it's Ernesto D here. Yet another beer haul video. It's actually the second uh, this month. Just can't help it. Once again, it's from Ontario, from the CBO liquor stores. Only this time around I went to Ottawa, not Toronto, so much closer. I only spent a day there. Uh, it's, you know, it's a nice two-hour two ride, ride away from Montreal. And uh, picked up these beers. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's start from the cans here in the front. First one is the Nickel Brook Headstock IPA from Burlington, Ontario. Um, actually, I already tried this in Toronto with my friends, and um, it was really nice. Actually, it's um, kind of reminded me of that uh, Nugget Nectar from Trogues from the states, and I'll definitely revisit that. It's a craft beer in a can; it's not too expensive. Uh, it's a really good deal. Another beer I haven't reviewed, uh, but I've sort of known this for a while, is the Steam Whistle Pilsner from Ontario, from Toronto actually. Downtown Toronto, it's the brewery that makes just this beer. Their motto is uh, do one thing really, really well. And I think they're doing a really good job at it. So, um, I think it's worthy to be revisited and kind of revisited on camera as well. And next one, this one's the Wells IPA from England. I kind of saw it at the liquor store and I thought, you know, $2, not a bad deal. Um, not expecting a whole lot from this beer. And most people would probably say that, man, there's nothing, something special, just pretty much more of a bitter I guess but uh, I saw a video from uh, Mad Max Star from New Brunswick and um, he kind of featured it in this in his uh, beer haul video and I remember that when I just moved to Montreal they had this beer for sale everywhere you went you know you could find this easily and then they just discontinued it so I thought you know might as well try it now better late than never and two beers uh, from the Bowes Brewery from Van Cleek Hill, which is really close to um, Quebec, even though they're in, in Ontario physically. This is the, the original beer, the Lug Tread Lagerdale. It's basically a Kolsch style beer, and this one is kind of hard to find in singles because um, it's usually sold in four packs, and these are the bigger bottles, they're kind of pricey. But um, I guess I was lucky to find this in singles, so I definitely thought that this was the time to try this beer. And this one is a seasonal, the summer seasonal Festival or Festival uh, Altbeer, German style beer, another German style beer. I've heard this brewery is really nice, so I've already bought the, the IPA, which I should probably uh, get to pretty soon, hopefully. Another beer from Wells, this is the Banana Bread beer from Wells. Um, uh, this one is a bit of a controversy, I suppose. Most people really don't like this beer. I mean, at least half the people I've um, seen review this beer didn't like it. Uh, they call it the gimmick beer, they call it all sorts of things and it's in the clear glass bowl. But this seemed so interesting to me and uh, I was happy to see this appear on the shelves at Little CBO. So, you know, once again I just had to pick it up and try it. Probably won't get to it. Perhaps I'm not even going to review it on camera, who knows, but I just want to try it. Okay, so the last few beers, this one is really special to me, the Innocent Gun Canada Day 2012-2012 uh, release. This one's a truly kind of limited uh, release beer, and I think it's pretty special for Canada, because Innocent Gun is sold really well in Canada, and I usually miss this beer. But this year I was kind of blessed with the opportunity to pick up a bottle for myself and try it. It wasn't even too expensive, it was only like 4 90 or something like that, so I think it's a good deal. And the last few beers are from the Flying Monkeys. Um, this one I've already reviewed and I keep picking up a bottle or two every time I go to Ontario and I just can't get enough of this beer, really nice one. Smash Bomb Atomic IPA, uh, very fruity, you get that passion fruit and uh, you know, tropical fruit taste, awesome. And the last beer is uh, again from the Fallen Monkeys. This is the Amber Ale. It used to be called the Conf Confederation Ale, I suppose. And um, this was sort of one of the first beers they started brewing. Um, I've always seen this around, but uh, I think you know, once again, the time has come to pick it up and um, give it a go. So that's it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Stick to the beer. Cheers.